All right, I see the bike. I just pulled up. It's over here. It might be kind of hard to see on camera. There it is. We'll get out and go take a look at it. Waiting on the guy to come outside, though. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. And the reason that I say it's going to be a little bit different is because most resellers are not going to show you this type of video. The reason for that is because it's not flashy. It's not glitz and glamour, but it is a way to make money. So you guys, we had an amazing Facebook marketplace find. Yes, that is a source where you can find things to resell. It's not the best, but occasionally I do come across items like this. We're going to go pick the item up, and then we're going to resell it. We're just going to resell it a little bit differently. As always, if you guys make it all the way to the end of the video, I will give you all the potential profits that I'm going to make off of this item. And we're going to take a look at it real quick. See it sitting here. guy's not back yet he's supposed to be meeting me here so here it is old stingray deluxe rusty crusty but it does have the original stick shift so this right here cleaned up $200 part by itself once I get it looking nice a bunch of these chrome bits can be cleaned up real nice paint's not going to come out of this unfortunately the seat is absolutely trashed but yeah this chrome stuff right here you can use barkeeper's friend make it look really nice and uh it looks like the wheels are all original on it if i can see down in there to see them spin it this way maybe yep very nice and uh The, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to park this thing out. I'm not actually doing anything else with it other than parking it out. Definitely not in great shape, but there's more than $50 worth of parts on this bike right here. So I'm waiting on the guy to get back, so I'm going to go ahead and just hook up my little bike rack that I have. This is absolutely the worst bike rack ever to be honest with you guys but i got it for free and it's really really small and i just keep it in my trunk all the time in case i come across a bike somewhere uh it doesn't take up a lot of space in the trunk i just like using it in times like this and there it is it just straps on up top down low like trunk bike racks do it's a saurus single absolutely terrible i wouldn't buy it but it's tiny and it actually holds fairly well uh i'd suggest getting the bones if you're actually carrying bike racks but this does good for what i need picking up old junk randomly like this one over here okay we got the bike loaded up and this guy right here showed up and tried to buy it out from underneath me he was buying other stuff the guy right here in the uh, vest said he's already had about 150 messages about the bike so i'm glad i was the first one he said i was the first one to send him a message last night and uh, he had people trying to pay him more than I was going to pay him and all that. So, glad that I... Trying to get turned around here. Glad that I made it over here pretty quick. Got it picked up. I'm going to show you guys the bike when we get to the house. Alright, y'all. I have the bike inside of my eBay room because today it's raining outside but we're going to work on tearing the bike down today remember i said this is a 100 percent parts bike i'm tearing the whole thing down and parting it out because i'm not the guy to restore this this bike could be restored it's all original and it's it's just crazy complete from i mean you have the original schwinn tires on it they're not in great shape but they are there everything about it original and the reason we're going to park this out you guys is because there's more money to be made for me in parting it out um you know you could sell the sissy bar here for 75 to 100 dollars. the seat post 
the same. Just this little clamp, 25 bucks. The back rim, probably 100 to 150. Same for the front rim. The fenders together bring 150. The sprocket and uh, pedals and all that, good money. The brake levers and the original calipers, $50 on those. The gear shifter over here, once all this stuff's cleaned up, the gear shifter probably 200 to 250. Um, what am I missing? The kickstand, we can part the kickstand out. The actual frame itself, this is a 69, so it's a desirable one. It's not in great shape, but the serial number checks out. Probably 200 to 250 for just the frame. The handlebars, you guys, you could even part out the badge on the front if you wanted to. I'll probably leave leave it with the bike. But you could take those two screws out and part the badge out. Everything about this, somebody is looking for pieces to complete their bike. And I can charge more money on individual pieces than I can this entire bike. So now I'm going to start tearing it down and cleaning some of this stuff up. And you guys will be able to see the before and after of the chrome just how dirty it is and uh, what we can actually make it look like okay we spent about an hour and a half breaking it down and we have everything from the handlebars the stem with the wedge rear tire the frame is separate now i'm going to be putting the chain guard back on the frame because those go together but for right now, it's actually off. We have the fenders off. Sissy bar, seat post, seat post clamps, the front wheel. We have the, the cranks, the sprocket, the pedals, the gear shifter, and even the brakes and the calipers, the levers and the calipers over there. All this is going to get pieced out. The only thing that'll get sold together is the frame and the chain guard as one piece because they're matching and they go together. Now this is only half the work. Now I have to clean up all this stuff and make it look presentable enough to sell it. So we're going to get into that. All right, y'all, I got my cheat sheet right here, and as always, I'm going to give you guys a breakdown. So we went and we picked the bike up. We paid $50 cash for the bike, so cost of goods was $50. Now, I could just flip this bike if I lived in a bigger city. I don't want to ship a bike on eBay, so we tore the bike down and we're parting it out. I've got everything listed finally. I think it was somewhere around 15 or 16 different listings. The only thing that we could not salvage was the seat and the handlebar grips. Those were pretty trashed. So total listed price was $1,350. That's the absolute best case scenario, you guys. That's if I don't take offers on anything, everything sells full price, $1,350. Odds are it's gonna sell a little bit less than that, right? If we take our eBay fees of 23% away from that because that's my average selling fee right now, that's eBay's take and the cost of shipping labels. Mine for the year is 23.1%. That leaves us with $1,039.50. Now, if we take away the cost of goods from that, that leaves us $989.50 profit from the bike. Now, keep in mind that you do still have to pay taxes at the end of the year on that $989. So, depending on your state, and uh, where you live, it's going to come down a little bit less than that. Also, mind that I did spend about six hours on this project, going and picking the bike up, coming home, tearing the whole bike down, cleaning the chrome parts that I could clean, 
and then wiping the grease and the dust off of the other parts to get it listed to try to maximize the profit. So about six hours just tearing the bike down. Listing it was actually fairly easy. I listed the entire bike in less than an hour, so that puts us at seven hours. Now, packaging the items once they sell, some of them are going to be super easy, like the seat post clamps. It takes 30 seconds. The bike frame, when it sells, is going to take a little bit longer. So we could probably average out that it's going to take about 30 minutes you know, per item to ship them. So we're looking at somewhere in the range of $100 per hour on this specific project. Like I said, you guys, it's not flashy and uh, glamorous to do videos on this, but these sorts of buys and deals are going on beyond the scenes all the time. It's virtually impossible for a full-time reseller to show you guys every single thing that we bought. I wanted to give you guys an example that I do this often, actually, and um, you know, if you guys are interested in doing it, it's a very, it's an easy way to make money. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay positive, and God bless y'all.